episode number six, work to learn and not to earn. Let's get it started. Now guys, I don't want to sound like a Mr. Pompous here, but I want to reiterate something that I've already told you guys before. Over the years, I've been involved in over 450 real estate transactions, equating to $50 million worth of real estate deals. I'm currently running multi-million dollar real estate companies. And it sounds great, doesn't it? And I know this is going to sound very corny, but I don't do it for the money. Um, I genuinely don't. Initially, when I started my um, real estate endeavors, it was about me and it was about, I guess, how much money I can earn. Um, but then it kind of stopped being about me and it started being about everyone else. I want you to remember this. If you give others what they want, in return, you guys will get what you want. So all of you folks that are currently um, a real estate agents or even looking at getting into real estate, my message to you is don't start your endeavors um, and make them about yourself and about your own ego and about how much money you can make. I would truly want you to work to learn and not to earn. So I'm gonna backtrack a little bit here and, and give you a little bit of a story about how I started. Um, I uh, initially started my real estate endeavors uh, begging a very successful entrepreneur back home in Australia to take me under his wing. So for around six months, I was cold calling his office emailing his secretary, knocking on his door, I mean, guys, sending him freaking gift baskets just to be able to work for this guy for free. I didn't want a single dime. He was a young guy, he was successful, he achieved amazing things. This day, um, he's running a $100 million real estate empire in Australia. So I was very fortunate that through my hard work and, and all of that hustle, I caught his attention, um, he took me under his wing, and he kind of gave me the foundations of me being the real estate entrepreneur and businessman that I am today, I worked to learn and not to earn. I was getting paid bare bones minimum. Now we're very good friends um, and we get along and um, we still connect on a, on a regular basis and I get a lot of great advice from him in regards to how to continue running my businesses. So um, I'm proud to tell you guys that I'm not the smartest guy out there, but I work very hard and I surround myself with people that are much smarter than me. My business practices um, uh, 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 um, uh, money is not what I'm chasing. I'm truly trying to leave a legacy and I'm truly trying to create something bigger and better than myself. So as long as you can put yourself in that kind of state of mind, guys, where you really want to give value to your clients, you really want to give them what they want before you can get what you want, the money side of things will look after itself. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shut up here now, but ultimately, guys, Work to learn and not to earn. Surround yourself with smarter people than yourself. Do not chase the dollar. Um, and you know, shadow other successful real estate agents. I mean, look, look, at, look at yourself right now and take a, take a kind of scan of, of the five top real estate agents that you know in your market or in your region. Cold call them, email them, knock on their door. I mean, do whatever it takes. To, to try and associate yourself with these guys. Help them out in any way. Do not expect anything in return and you will pick up and you will learn so much from these successful individuals just like I have from my buddy back home in Australia. Um, so guys, that's it. I mean, hope you enjoyed um, this Rogue Realtor tip of the day. If you have any questions, um, feel free to reach out in the description below of this video. You'll find a ton of links. Um, go to www.agentscomefirst.com. Um, hey, I'll Catch up with you soon. Once again, I'm Angela Ramora. I'm your favorite Australian. And you guys be selfish and go rogue.